Hi, Geminis. Welcome to your general monthly reading for December 2020 for all Geminis Sun, Moon, Rising, South Node, or North, North Node of the Moon. Okay, so first off, what came out for you from my Sacred Geometry activation cards is number 15 and the frequency compassion. The frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world. Okay, that's, that's beautiful, Gemini. Okay, take a look at that long as you feel necessary to assist in awakening your subconscious. And I can't hold it very sturdy. So you might need to pause the video if you need to. Okay. Okay, and then next from my astrological deck came out the second house. And the second house has everything to do with self-worth and um, things, um, like tangible things, like possessions. Okay, and then the I picked a third card, which is from my Secret Language of Light deck. And this one is number 34, or the number seven, either one of those might be significant for you. And this is soul mating. It's beautiful, beautiful cards. And these are also have sacred geometry and a light activation code. Just gorgeous. So you can also Stop this video if you need to, to look at that for as long as you would like. Okay. Okay, and with that, just let me... Well, what I got right off when I was putting all three of these cards out is they're, both of these cards are green, and to me that's healing. And then you have this big heart again right there. This big, beautiful heart, healing, and again, compassion has everything to do with an open and big, loving heart, and also the second house about self-worth that has everything to do with opening your heart and having a big, loving heart to your with your own, with your own self, and then that just goes out to everyone else around you and out into the universe as well. So all goes together but I also feel the need to read just a paragraph a little paragraph here from this about this card specifically Where is four? okay soul mating embrace your soul to reveal a partner a new encounter or a deepening of an already existing union will profoundly change the way you perceive unconditional love. Chemistry between two people does not mean they are life partners. You have entered each other's lives to awaken, expand, and open your hearts so wide that they may never close again. It may last for a moment, a season, or a lifetime. Time is not necessary to shift the cogs of your heart and feel the absolute ecstasy of you. A moment can open you to euphoria. The purpose of a soul relationship is to mirror your love and light and melt away any hard edges or walls you have built. Whatever is mirrored will intensify. Love and peace will feel bigger but so will fear or pain. This reveals any wounds that hold us away from love. 
so we can heal them as we embrace more of the love we already recognize. Okay, that's very beautiful. All right, Gemini's, okay. So, and the reason why I am doing Gemini, and I've already done Sagittarius and Virgo, and then I'm also going to do Pisces first is because during this full moon on November 30th, there is a Gemini, it's a Gemini full moon. And so that conjuncts Gemini's, anything you have Gemini, anything you have Virgo or Pisces, that squares it. So you want to check on your needle wheel. If you have Virgo, Pisces, of course, you've got at least one Gemini. Read about that though. And if you have anything in Sagittarius as well, because that opposes the full moon in Gemini. Very, very important. Very important. And that's going to um, have everything to do with you going into December and the things that you and people and feelings and situations that you are going to be dealing with. So, okay. So let me start out with, oh, and if you don't have your natal wheel done and, and also look at your north and south nodes of the moon, essential Gemini's essential or anyone who is listening right now, not just for Gemini's. This is for every, every single soul because our north and south nodes of the moon, that is where each one of us has our own personal work to be done in this life on this earth right now. It was downloaded to us at birth from our parents, our ancestors, even could be even before our parents, because it has to do with whatever wasn't taken care of. And so the way I see it, the most important thing that our ancestry hasn't been able to take care of, we get. And so we get the chance and the privilege to take care of it in this life. Okay, so the north and south nodes of the moon, they have been looked over by all astrologers or most astrologers that I have ever met. And it's really, you have to dig to find detailed information about north and south nodes of the moon. And so there is one book that I can recommend, and I recommend this to everyone, it's the most detailed book I have ever seen so far. And that is Karmic Astrology and it's Reincarnation and the Nodes of the Moon is its exact title, I believe. And that is from the author Martin Schulman. And it's out of print now, but you should, you should hopefully be able to find it um, on you, you know, online used from someone. And if you can't, I do have a copy. So, and you are needing your North and South nodes of the moon, leave me a comment, send me an email. I will be happy to do that and we will figure it out. I will somehow, um, if I have to take pictures on the phone and send you that through the email, I, I can do that. Okay. No charge, no charge. All right. Okay, so let's see now, Gemini's. What is coming up for you from now? Today's the 22nd, all the way through December. Ace of Swords. Look at that. Very strong. Okay, so what I got is bird's eye view and then I was drawn to the hawk's eye and so um, keep an eye on details take a look at details make sure that if you have any contracts or anything but pay attention to details of any kind it's going to be different for every situation because this is a general reading Okay, another 
this is for someone or some of you. I'm just getting the hawk. He loves to fly and Gemini's you, you're an air sign. You love to fly and soar and just soar or flit around like a butterfly, some of you. But what I'm seeing is, okay, Gemini is just land. Do your best to calm down, slow down, and I know that's difficult for Gemini's. And the more Gemini you have in your chart or air in your chart, the harder that is. But that's what I'm getting from this hawk. Um, pay attention to detail or details. So I'm also getting pay attention to truths coming through and maybe look into the details of those truths or for some of you, it might be what you thought was true and now another truth is coming out that is um, setting you on your ear, so to speak. It's kind of got you spinning because it's totally different than what you've always believed the truth to be. And so investigate, research that, look into the details of that truth that is completely different from how you have believed or how you have seen or perceived the, uh, whatever that detail is or truth is. Take a look at it. Don't just scoff at it and, and really pay attention. Take the time to look into that truth and you will find and figure out it will help you in some way. Ace of Swords, it's going to, okay, the Ace of Swords, that's going to cut through. If you do that, you take the time, even if it, I'm, some of you, it might make some of you upset, angry. Um, take the time to go ahead and look into that because that is going to cut through a lie that you have believed that you didn't know was a lie. And that lie has actually been stopping you from your blessing I just heard, from your life, from your, your being you and your deepest desires, your destiny, and getting to the bottom of who you truly are, your self-worth, your soulmate here. Look at that. Okay, and maybe it's going to be another that comes in and awakens you to something about yourself that you didn't know or you thought was correct and isn't correct or you thought wasn't correct and it is correct. It, and be compassionate with yourself and of course with others. Like I know you'll be, I know you'll be um, when that happens. Because it might, it, it might, again, rock your world, I just heard, Gemini. And I'm also called to say, too, if you have any Virgo in your chart, you might also want to look at the Virgo one, um, December monthly, for someone or some of you. Because I had a similar... Not exactly the same, but a similar um, message. Okay. Well, okay, let's take that one. Oh, look at that. The sun. The sun. Oh. Happy days are ahead, Gemini. Happy days are ahead. That sunny little cute little baby duck. Just, okay, I was just drawn too. It's just been born. Some of you are going through a rebirth, a transformation, and this is part of your birth. This is part of your rebirth, whatever these truths are for you so that you can be the best version of you. But you have to first get rid of those things that are not real, not true, and, and let those go so that you can step into the sunshine. And it's going to free you. I just heard too. It's going to free you, Gemini's. 
sun, moon, rising, south or north node of the moon. Yes, very, very much. And some of you have been working really hard. And so this transformative process, it has come to an end, you know, a conclusion. And, and this Gemini full moon that will send you sailing into the, your new life, your new life for some of you, for some of you bringing blessings for some of you. Okay. A soulmate, I just thought, I got for some of you. Very much of a blessing, which will increase your self-worth and your compassion, your love, your heart. Space will open forever. And that's what we need here, Gemini's, on this earth, especially right now. All of us assisting each other to heal. We're all connected. And your beautiful light force is needed and necessary. Okay, what else for Gemini's for December? What? It's December. What is this full moon bringing for Gemini's? How is their compassion going to be ignited? And I just got to, because I was drawn to this word um, judgment. And so some of you have been judging yourself harshly, which then in turn it it ends up judging others too. So um, that, that gets to end, that gets to be opened up and healed for some of you there. And maybe that's what some of you are coming out of too, you're maturing from, and that's your transformation too, for at least part of it. Okay, let's get one more card. At least one more card from this beautiful animal, spiritual animal deck. Okay, what for Gemini's? Okay, let me just... Yeah, and again, I got Gemini's because, of course, you love to go fast. A lot of you are always in motion. And... Um, just do your best to calm down because I'm also noticed that kind of I was feeling a little bit of nervous energy. So some of you might have this nervous energy. And so just um, acknowledge that first and then whatever you can do, whether it's meditation, whether it's being out in nature, um, playing with your animals, your bird, um, taking a bubble bath, whatever it is, to calm yourself so that you're peaceful and you just slow that down for yourself. Okay, so the King of Swords. Okay. Okay, I got Stay Determined. Work towards your goal, towards your best and highest interest. Stay focused, stay calm. Um, slowly but surely keep moving forward. And take your time. Take your time to make sure that the decisions or the Whatever situations that that you are putting yourself in, especially for from now through December, that they are in your best interest. That um, so don't jump the gun. Don't don't. I'm just hearing. Don't say for someone. Don't say yes too soon, like to parties or whatever that might be. Uh, it's going to be different for all of you because you want to take your time, you want to make sure and that 
The decision you make is the best one for you. I had something else. Let me just look at this for a moment. Because you also want to make sure that the direction that you are going, that it's something you are choosing and what is best for you. And so it's very important. That's also why to calm yourself down and don't just quickly um, snap and, you know, and go in a different direction, a new direction, because it might not be the best choice for you right now. I just got some of you might be um, prone, there's the word, prone to listening to others before listening to what's best for you and just going along with the crowd and because uh, you're a social butterfly is what some of you are and especially if you've got a lot of Gemini in your chart. You really are and so but um, just just be more cautious this month that's what I'm getting just be more cautious be the king of swords and be more sturdy and having the ability to say no if it's not what's best for you if you don't if that doesn't feel good to you if that doesn't seem right to you, if that's not the direction that you choose to go, then um, be the king of swords and you just be strong within yourself and and it's okay. It's okay to say no. It's okay if the other person gets mad, but still that's, you know, you must do first and foremost what's best for you as kindly and politely, but sternly, of course. So that's what I'm getting. Again, and yes, you and stay in your integrity. Tell the truth, the truth, no matter what, no matter what. If you lose someone because you tell the truth as, as kindly as you possibly can, well, um, that's not, it's, it's no one's fault. It's no one's fault. The truth is the truth and you did the best thing for them and you just let them let them sit in that and 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 you just keep going and and you just keep keep that love in your heart for them you keep that love in your heart for them and in their time they will come around okay let's see if there's one other of these cars then I will choose another deck here. Yep, there is another one. Okay. Ace of Cups. Okay. Gemini's. You you are also so you're in the you're in the process of also mastering your emotions and doing what's right for you. And joyful for you and what increases you and your energy and keeps your your energy positive so that you can um, share that positivity that energetic positiveness that lovingness out into the world rather than the negative being stuck in the negative and some of you might be working on that right now you're um, yeah working on that on how to do that on and that has everything to do with creating boundaries for yourself energetic boundaries and that's why being the king of swords you the king of swords he's able and strong and he knows what's best for him and what's not best for him and he can stand up and tell the truth and um and stay in his own power no matter what no matter what what anyone else does or says or no matter what's going on around him and this is also what you are working on with your emotional self so that it doesn't matter what emotion the person has that you are telling this the truth to you will be able to stand strong and stay kind and loving regardless of of 
of their emotional state at the time. And that's what's best for them too. Because then you are able to say calm and compassionate. There you are, compassionate with that unconditional love. No matter what, no matter what. Okay, so let's see what else. Gemini's. Okay, Gemini's. And again, Gemini, uh, take a look at your natal wheel. See what, um, what other planets besides Gemini, or other Gemini planets that you have, or the Gemini planet that you do have. Look at the degrees, too and see how closely it conjuncts to the full moon. And I believe the full moon is, it's an early, it's like three degrees, I think, three or four degrees. Yeah, is the moon. And so the closer the degrees, whether it's square, conjuncting, or in opposition your planets to this Gemini full moon, the closer the, the degrees are to the full moon, it's the more it will affect you. And of course, the more you have, the more planets um, that you have that are aspecting the Gemini full moon, then that's going to affect you more too. So again, take a look at that and see where you stand there. And um, then that you will get a jump on it. You will have a lot better knowing and a conscious awareness of why certain things are happening around you or why you might be feeling a certain way it, it will just it'll free you it will free you it's just amazing okay and if you have any questions to me i'm an astrologer of 24 years so i would be happy happy to answer any questions you might have um, give you a free needle wheel with a little video um, just leave me a comment below or email me and I will leave because I need some information from you in the description box below if you'd like that. Okay. For free. For free. I do all this for free. This is part of my giving back to assisting healing humanity. Okay. Okay, so what else for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon? This is a big, big time. Okay, what was that? Big time for you Geminis. Okay. Nine of Wands. Okay. Mm hmm some of you are coming to the end of a cycle. Nine of Wands. And I'm being drawn to his. He has a um, a white, I don't know if you can see that, around his head. So it's like he got hurt. So he's he has some battle wounds from what he's gone through. Through this this heavy cycle for some of you but it didn't stop him it didn't stop him it in fact made him stronger and wiser and more resilient and so now this is he knows this is what he needed in order to before he could begin this new venture that he is is about ready to begin because once you complete a cycle then you have a brand new beginning and you take all of that wisdom all of those experiences with you as your assistant as a information tool for others to pass on to assist them beautiful he's I'm just noticing too his his feet and his legs he is and he's on solid ground to me that looks like a cement foundation that he is standing on that he has built for himself so he has something solid 
self-worth for one, second house. And along with self-worth, you're automatically going to have um, security of, of possessions, um, whatever that might be, your home, your vehicle, um, whatever that might be. It's going to be different for everybody. Okay, so let's see what else for Gemini, 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 so, oh shit, I don't know what I'm reading, um, it's right here, just a minute, Sorry about that. Okay, so, okay, so let's see what else. Alright. Okay, let me just shuffle again. Okay, so let's see what. Okay, for Gemini, let's see what else for Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, South, the North Node of the Moon. South, the North Node of the Moon, what else? do we have to say for Gemini's? What would be information? Look at that. Okay, the magician. Okay, some type of magic. I, I just get magic is working behind the scenes for you in some way some transformative way that's going to assist in, in taking you into a new direction and see that yellow bright yellow background i always see high deep big self-worth so the solar plexus is being um, ignited in your self-worth again the second house and this card your self-worth whatever transformative, whatever, magic, whatever. I'm just hearing a secret is going to be revealed. And, and this is something good. Um, it's going to increase you. It's going to encourage you on your way, wherever you are in your path right now. It's something positive. According to the work that you have done so far. And it's going to surprise you again it's a surprise it's it's a little bit of magic it's it's a little bit of happiness brightness in your life to show you that you're on the right road you're on the right road either keep going or for some of you that have finished this this cycle then you get a blessing you get rewards for finishing this huge cycle yeah something has come to fruition because I'm also looking at the the flowers see he has he has red and white flowers above him and below him and they're they're full bloom so something something that you've been working on Gemini's big or small it doesn't matter it's come to fruition and you will be seeing rewards of that in December or around the full moon in Gemini on the 30th, 30th of November. Okay, let's see, what else? What else? What else for Gemini's? 
Gemini, Sun and Rising, South and North Node of Moon, Gemini, okay, everything else, let's get one more card, whoops, okay, let me get one more card then, one more card. Oh, look at that. The Four of Wands. Yes, there's going to be some type of celebration, something coming. A surprise. A happy, happy surprise for you, for all of your hard work, whatever that is. And of course, it's going to be different for all of you. Again, you're all on different um, parts of your journey. And, but, but you are going to see some type of recognition, some type of gift, some type of happy, happy surprise celebration coming to you because of what you've done so far. That's very, very, very beautiful. All right. Okay. Well, Gemini, that's all I have for you. So you keep, keep going. Keep going. And yes, self-worth, opening your heart. Oh, compassion. Beautiful. Okay. Until next time. Okay. Bye, Gemini.